Hello and welcome to Adaptation, the vlog for film adaptations and the original material they're based on. I'm Jennifer Dick. This week you're in for yet another of our What Are We Reading videos, where we hosts take a break from reading the books that we're currently reading in order to tell you, the public and our adoring fans, about the books that we're currently reading. Unfortunately, I do have to apologize in advance for the skimpiness of our video this week. We only have four books to present to you, and one of them is the audiobook that I'm currently listening to. You see, Jess, you complain about my audiobooks, but they help. They brought us up from three to four, so ha! So, without further ado, my audiobook of the month, as Jess, you know, insists on calling it, I'm listening to Ink Death, the third and final installment in Cornelia Funke's Inkheart series. If you're a reader at all, you need to check this series out. It was made for us. Let me put it this way. Think of that one character who you've always had a crush on, or just want to go out and have a cup of coffee with them. You know, get to know them a little bit. Well, if you were in this series, there are a few characters who could hook you up. If you're sure you want it, of course. Ink Hearts is about 12-year-old Maggie, who lives with her father Mo, a bookbinder who has the ability of reading characters out of their stories and into our world. What? Awesome! But as cool as that may seem to some of us bookaholics, there are some definite downsides. For one thing, some of those villains in the stories that we love to read, you would not want to meet in real life. Imagine yourself face-to-face -face with Lord Voldemort. Oh, and downside number two? For every character who comes out of the book, a real person has to replace them. And before you get too excited about this, imagining yourself in Narnia or Hogwarts, I have one word for you. Panem. Moving on, Sarah is reading City of Ashes, the second book in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Now we've covered City of Bones, the first book in a previous podcast, as well as talking about the movie that just came out, so I'll keep this description pretty short. In a nutshell, this series follows Clary as she's pulled into an adventure she is not expecting. She falls in with the Shadow Hunters, a secret group of warriors destined to rid the world of demons. Although I bet Sam and Dean Winchester could give them a few pointers. Along the way, she answers quite a few questions about herself, but she also finds out some things about her past. Now, Jess is currently reading through The Kings of Clonmel, which is the eighth book in John Flanagan's The Ranger's Apprentice series. This is another of my favorite series. I have them all on audiobook. Set in a fictional world that kind of resembles medieval England, this series follows the main character, Will as he becomes first apprentice to the ranger Halt, before becoming a full-fledged ranger in his own right. Trained in battle, stealth, surveillance, not to mention battle strategy, rangers are pretty much the protectors of the entire kingdom. If there's a problem, you send a ranger. It's a really fun series, and the rangers are completely badass. Definitely worth a read. And last but not least, we began with my audiobook, so we'll end with the actual book. I recently picked up Odalisque by Fiona McIntosh, the first in her Percheron trilogy. In a setting based on the ancient society in Constantinople, this book begins with the death of the old Tsar and the ascension of the new, 15-year-old Boaz. With such a young ruler, political maneuvering and conspiracy sure to follow, even from the Tsar's own mother. But don't worry, he still has a few friends that he can trust. And no, his mom is not one of them. Let's see. A soldier? Normal enough. A fool? Always needed. And a concubine? Yeah, I don't have a snarky comment for that one. So those are our contributions for this video. Please satisfy our curiosity by telling us what you're reading in the comments below. As always, you'll find links to our vlog, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook pages in the info section. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our podcast on iTunes. We hope to see you next week, and until then, keep reading!